Once you're ready to remove the SD card from your camera to view your photos and videos, make sure the robot is off. And once again, remove the plug from the back of the camera. And you're going to push in on the SD card so that it will unlatch and spring backwards. We hear it click and stick out slightly. Then we can grab the SD card and pull it out. Plug the SD card into your computer. We put it inside of the adapter and plug it in. If you don't have an SD card reader built into your computer, you can buy a USB SD card reader. So when you plug it in, this should pop up automatically, but if it doesn't, I'll show you what to do instead. We'll close this like it didn't pop up, and you can click on File Explorer down here, this folder icon. You can click in the search bar and type in File, and File Explorer pops up here, and it brings us back to a similar place but we have to come down over here on the left side to where it says removable disk D. But we click on the removable disk and we're back to the same place with our JPEG folder and our video folder. Click on the JPEG, we'll double click and we'll get a list here of all of our pictures. We can double click on one of these pictures and it will automatically open up so that we can view it. If it does not automatically open up on your computer, you can right click on the image here Go down to open with and use photos to open the picture. Videos is similar. If we double click on it, it should play automatically. Again, if it doesn't though, just right click on it. Go down to open with and this time we're going to use movies and TV and that will open our video. Right now, these files are just on the SD card. They're not stored on your computer, you're just viewing them here. So if we want to move them to the computer, we can create a new folder on our computer. Just come over here to the desktop and right click. Go down to New and select Folder. That'll create a new folder on the desktop that we can name and then hit Enter. Then just double click on the folder to open it. We can just click and drag these windows around so they're in the right place so that we can get between both of them easily. If we want to move this picture, we just click and hold down, drag it over to the new folder and let go of it. If we want to move a bunch of them, we'll just click on the first one that we want to move, then hold down Control and Shift on the keyboard, and then click on the last one that we want to select. And that will highlight that whole block. Then we can just click on that block anywhere in the highlighted area and drag the whole thing over to the new folder. This will work the same with the video files. We can simply go back, click on, it, click on the video folder. You can click on a video and drag it to the new folder. It will take longer than a photo because it's a much larger file so you'll see it taking a lot of transfer time. If you want to remove stuff from your SD card entirely so that you can free up space to record new photos or videos, double check to make sure that you have saved everything that you want to a new folder. We can go back to our new folder just to check that everything is still there. Click on a picture and open it up just to make sure it's still showing up. Once you're completely sure that your pictures and videos are saved to a new location on your computer, you can go over to this left side where it says Removable Disk D and right click. We want to go down to where it says Format and click on that. If we hit Start, it will remove everything from the card. It will be completely empty like it just came out of the package. That is one way to clean the card off completely. If you want to delete files individually, we can just click on them, right click, and click Delete. That will get rid of single files one at a time.